So financial services as a sector is not homogenous, it's highly heterogeneous. That um, those involved in insurance are very different from those involved in asset management, which are very different from those involved in banking, which are very different from those involved in um, some other aspect of the business. So there is an opportunity for new entrants to become very good specialists in one or more areas. There are people who are very good in money transmission, there are people who are very good in uh, customer service, there are people who are very good in aspects of insurance. And I think generally people tend to start with one category or one sector and become very good at that. But I think for people like Atom, over time that product range will expand to give the customers a broader experience. Everything is about the experience. If we can give the customer a great experience, they will buy more things from us over time. Um, I think one of the things is clear to me is that it's not technology that makes the difference. Because whatever technology I use today, you could start a bank tomorrow with better technology. The thing that differentiates you from the other people who are out there is one's commitment to putting the customer first, to genuinely caring passionately about the customer. And then you build the technology and the infrastructure and the risk and everything else that needs to be put together to deliver that customer experience. It's not about building the bank first and then adding the customer as an afterthought. Uh, technology is important today because I think, in, certainly in terms of banking, those banks that succeed in the future will be those that have the most efficient operations. Uh, in the past, banks with uh, branch networks with legacy systems will have a cost income ratio of typically 55-60%. Using technology effectively in Atom, we will drive down the cost income ratio to about 25%. That means two things. It means we can offer customers better value products and it means we can offer superior returns to shareholders. So technology has an important role to play in creating efficiency. But I come back to my previous point, which is about if you put the customer first, you build the technology to enable you to put the customer first, rather than build technology for the sake of technology. So I'm an absolute believer that technology is a key driver, but technology is not the differentiator. I think that uh, blockchain is going to substantially change most aspects of banking. Now I separate blockchain from cryptocurrencies. I think they're very different. I think the distributed ledger technology has a huge place, part to play in many, many aspects of banking going forward. So I think it can reduce cost, improve efficiency, both of which are good for customers. Um, I think the, the concept behind cryptocurrencies, frictionless transfer of money virtually freely is great, but right now many cryptocurrencies are more like an asset class than a fiat currency. And until I think some of these issues have been resolved, um, I am personally very wary of cryptocurrencies. I think in concept they're very, very good. I think there are too many, some that have not been well thought through, and I think there will still be problems before some will emerge in the future as very, very useful technologies.